Howdy folks, welcome back, it's me Bear Simples, and I'm bringing you a video quite simply due to the fact of, as you know I have got a new graphics card, the XFX uh, RX480 GTR, which is an absolutely fantastic card, it's a brilliant card. Yeah, the one I have comes with the 1288 MHz clock speed, and you know, you, to be honest, I just don't want to overclock it, I think it's absolutely fantastic. There is another one which comes with 1328, uh, which is an extra twenty pounds? I believe it's also an extra twenty dollars as well, more. But I just don't understand why you want to pay a little bit extra for something you could do in an overclock yourself if you wanted to. However, the reason why I want to do this video is quite simply: a lot of people on the forums are saying this is a really fantastic card, but they are a little upset that the fans are too loud, and they can't find anywhere on Watman to lower the fans, so they literally clocked back the CPU a bit, uh, the GPU a bit, so it doesn't ramp up the fans so much. However, there is a way of doing it. There's two di or different ways of doing it. Uh, let's show you the first one, shall we? Uh, number one, go into global settings, go into Watman settings, go down. Let's get down to the right place I want to go. And there's your fans. That's the fans, right? That's the maximum fan, that's the minimum fan, so starts on thing. It's on automatic. De-click that and lower that one. If you lower that one, that means the fans will then, when they ramp up, will only go to what the maximum is on that line. And, you know, it's absolutely fantastic. You can also, if you wanted to, do your own temperature setups. I left mine all on automatic at the moment because I'm finding it's pretty okay because there's a second little thing you can do if you're like myself and you're running a 1080p system my monitor is only a 1080p monitor it's not free synced so it's only a 1080p so what I do is to save all time instead of me just allowing uh, I've got the specs on it. Right, there we are as you can see my monitor is only a 1080p instead of allowing me to um, how can we say ramp up to 120 frames as I showed in videos of what kind of frame rate I'm getting on Division, what kind of frame rate I'm getting on World of Tanks at the moment and I've left it the way it was for you to see what potential you had however at the same time the fans do ramp up to maximum my monitor is only a 60 hertz monitor so for me to go up 120 to be honest is not very feasible for myself however going back what we can do is this frame rate target controller? Uh, honestly, you could use these, but I'm finding at the moment uh, the latest update the profiles don't seem to kick in. So, global settings seems to be the best option at the moment. Uh, as I have a 60 hertz monitor, I can overclock it to 75, but 75, nah, it's not different. It was a, if I was able to do 120, I probably would do that, <laughs> but overall, yeah, uh, 60 frames. Enable this and your graphics card will not exceed 60 frames and if you're playing games like World of Tanks or games which do not need a lot of graphical power then it is not going to ramp up the fans, your fans are going to stay cool. I've played World of Tanks and I played World of Tanks for about 3 hours in solid and the fans only started coming on in the last half an hour when it got to a certain temperature as we know the card runs silent until you reach a certain temperature. Once you reach that temperature, it then starts ramping up the fans. And because I've dropped it down to 60 frames a second, it doesn't need so much fan speed because it's not using a full power of the GPU. And that's a good thing. So those are the two ways in which to reduce your fan speed if you're running, especially the, first, the second one, if you're running a 1080p system, that's the best way to do it. If you're not and you're running a proper system and you want to lower your fan speed you can do it on what's uh what man and there is it you just unclick that and then drop that bar down to what you think is an acceptable sound however remembering if you do that the graphics card is going to run a little hotter so be careful about that <laughs> you need to find out exactly what the graphics card is rated for and run it each graphics card is rated slightly different if you're using a different uh, graphics card, EVGA, um, you know, the, uh, giga, gigabyte, anybody like that. Just be careful. Always check to see what it's uh, rated for. But I'm not going to touch this. I'm, as I said, 1080p system. 
is no problem for me. I just have to lower the frames. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, hit that like button. Until next time, it's me, Ian Pearl, signing off. Have a good day, folks, and I'll catch you soon. Bye from me.